Deputy President William Ruto now wants the High Court to dismiss a petition filed seeking his removal from office, saying the petition was politically motivated and lacks basis. Now, in the response, the DP added that the suit was dr driven by selfish political interests, which should not be addressed by the court, adding that the suit was based on mere assertions, allegations, and hypotheses, which were unsupported by any form of evidence, and further to that, claims that he was not effectively performing his duties were unsubstantiated. Noting that the suit was overtaken by events since his term as the second in command was in its final days, and that he had wholeheartedly carried out his mandate as prescribed by the law. The DP stated that the court had no jurisdiction to occasion his removal from office, saying, and I quote, the suit herein is misplaced, and that the power to remove a deputy president from office is a political process which falls within the ambit of parliament. That being the case, we submit that this court is devoid of jurisdiction to hear and determine the instant matter herein and is left with no other choice but to down its tools rather than usurping powers it does not possess. The petitioner, Michael Kirungia, had submitted that the DP had abdicated his constitutional role as the principal assistant to the president and embarked on what he termed as self-assigned duties seek seeking to have him barred from using the office of the DP and the residential Karen home in conducting UDA meetings until the matter is determined.